What is up everybody today we are back on Minecraft and we all know that the latest update to Minecraft on the console brought us the wonderful wonderful battle mode now in between every game of battle mode you start out in this lobby here and in this lobby there are a ton and I do mean a ton of secrets there are 50 doors that don't open you know there's this door here how do I get in there how do I get in there there's tons of different things in here to explore and find out about and in today's video I want to show you guys a ton of them and not the least of which I I want to show you guys how to open every single door and get every single mob head so by the time we are done with this video I'm gonna show you guys how to open all of these doors this door that door every closed door that you come across in this map and show you guys where all of the mob heads are that you can actually use while you are playing in the actual literal game of battle mode against other people and it's really really cool so I do want to go ahead and say that if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see some more things about Minecraft console and particularly battle mode make sure you guys leave me some love down below with a like and now that we've done that let's go ahead and jump directly in to how you guys can get all of the mob heads and how you guys can get into every single locked room on this map so starting off the most important thing we need to do is come over here to this chest and take ourselves out a bow and arrow so right in there there's tons of bow and arrows for everybody who needs them so go ahead run in there and grab your bow and arrow now right after you go to that chest come directly over here to the steel gate and look straight up and you're going to notice that there is a wooden button right there now it is out of range it's actually not out of range I thought it was but you can see there you can actually just push it no problem you don't even need the bow and arrow for this one and you can just walk over here push this and it will shoot out a skeleton mob head right here and you are already on your way so you don't even need the bow and arrow for that one um, which I didn't know which is news to me after you get that when you want to come directly across from where you got the skeleton mob head and you want to look up and you're going to notice that there is another wooden button up there so that button right there if we shoot it with the bow and arrow and I hit it you can see voila is going to give us a wither skeleton skull which is absolutely incredible how easy are these to get right you always thought they were difficult to get and some of them are a little bit more difficult okay but these these ones here right off the bat are super easy so there we have the wither skeleton skull and the normal skeleton skull and if you look very very closely and I do mean very closely you're gonna notice that right here right on the other side of my cursor you can't see it right now but right there there is a wooden button up there you guys see it and what we want to go ahead and do is shoot that with our bow and arrow just like we did the last one so it might take a second to get our aim just spot on a little higher there we go and you can see that if we get it correctly it will shoot us out a Steve head so right there we've already got three of the five skulls we are on an absolute roll and we are killing it now in order to get the next skull we actually have to do a little bit of a puzzle and uh, the puzzle is, is kind of difficult but once you get the hang of it and once you know it for sure it's really pretty easy so if you guys come up here into this room I'm sorry I didn't show you guys where it was so it's this room right here so here's the fountain and it's this room right off to the side here it's got the green carpet on the ground here if you were wondering and up here there is a wall of three swords now these swords are incredibly important and if you go ahead and you push the left trigger on them you are going to notice that they spin and in what direction they are spun is super important if you want to get some of these skulls so in order to figure out what direction to put these we actually have to do a little bit of searching around this map but thankfully for you, I know all the locations for the things, and so you guys don't have to do a whole lot of searching at all. So to start off, what we want to go ahead and do is come out here from the sword room, and in order to figure out the location, or what direction, oopsie, I did not mean to fall there, um, in order to figure out the direction of the first sword, what we first want to go ahead and do is flip up, or flip down rather, these two trap doors. So you can see I flipped those down, and now what we want to do is we want to come back upstairs, come over here to the window and we are going to run and jump straight across over there to that other painting so we're gonna voila just make the jump right there just like that and if we come over here you're going to see that right here we have an upside down sword our upside down iron sword in there and it is facing down so now that we've gone ahead and seen that what we want to go ahead and do is come back over here we want to come back upstairs and we want to make the iron sword face straight down just like that now we only have two more swords to figure out and the locations if you were searching for them by yourself are kind of hidden but like I said you guys thankfully came across the right video and you guys have the tips from yours truly so in order to find the orientation of the next sword we actually want to come over here into the library and I apologize I didn't really show you guys where this was it's right here it's this room or this building right here um, and it's the one with the big dark oak doors here and so when you come in you come into this room and what you want to do is first go straight ahead over here on the left and you're going to notice that on the left there's this little crevice and in that crevice there is a lever so you want to reach back in there and you want to find the magic spot and you're going to see it's going to give me a little tool tip down there in the bottom left 
maybe oh it's not but whatever just flip the little lever back in there and then you're going to notice that when i flipped that lever it actually popped out this block right here that block was not out before and now that that block is out what i can do is i can jump right here i can jump right here and then i can run all the way around back up and then come on this side and right here right up here in this little crevice we are going to notice the diamond sword and the diamond sword is facing down and to the right and so now that we've got the orientation for that what we're going to do is come back over here to the the sword room where we have all of the swords on the walls and we are going to flip this guy down into the bottom right so now the last one we need to find is this guy right here the golden boy and the golden boy is located back down here and then we want to come out here to the fountain and in the fountain we need to jump this wall just like that so we can get over here to the ladder we are going to climb up the ladder come up to the top and right here inside of this glass pane you are going to see inside we have our golden sword and it is facing to the left so now we are going to come back down here for the final stage and up here we are going to flip the sword to the left so we're flip 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 there we are and if you can look right down here voila we have now gone ahead and opened ourselves up this door and inside of this newly opened room you can see we have voila our zombie head so now we can actually flip these two levers right here and let everybody else in if we so choose and so now we only have one more mob head to get and this is really probably the most tricky one if you didn't know what you were looking for do you see in there where there's that lever we have to flip that guy but there is no way to do that at this current moment and so to do that what we have to do is we have to come over here and we are actually going to go up into the sword area one more time so come over here to the green carpet room we're going to go straight upstairs and then we're going to hook it and we are going to come back over here to the room where we saw the original iron sword because if you guys didn't notice and you didn't know actually behind this painting there is a wooden pressure plate now to activate that other uh, or to activate the other lever we actually have to move some blocks and to do that we need to drop a arrow just here on the wooden pressure plate it's going to fall right on there just like that make sure that you do not pick back up that arrow because you do need it to be on that wooden pressure plate and now if we come back over here we should see that this piece of hay has moved off to the side and we can now reach down in here and voila maybe maybe we can voila there we are voila we can flip that lever down in there and then we can come in here into this final room this final iron door and up at the top you can see we have ourselves the final creeper head and that is how you open up all of the doors and get all of the mob heads here in the loading room for minecraft minigame battle mode and how awesome is that now there are some other things in here that i didn't mention and i'm sure that there's a whole bunch of stuff that i don't even know about like it looks like there's a room up there on top there is actually a room up on top over here that you can get to if you continued using um this little area that i showed you guys before so you guys remember when we were up here for the diamond sword basically you keep coming up here you can jump 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 and you can keep going there's some uh, some ladders here come to the top you can set up some fireworks here if that's your thing you can see boom boom and you are at the very top end of this uh you know this building here which there's just a whole bunch of cool things in this lobby area if like i said if you guys enjoyed this particular video make sure you guys leave me some love down below with a like because you guys support really does help me out and really lets me know that you guys want to see some more of these videos and i can be sure to anytime i find out anything cool new with battle mode i'll be sure to make a video on that so make sure you guys subscribe for those if you are new around here i really do appreciate all of you guys watching and i will see all of you guys later with a ton of new videos so make sure you guys stick around for those and i will see all of you guys later Bye. Peace.